So this is an example of showing you a missed opportunity. So I got talked out of this trade. This was a trade that could have been huge and not only huge because I liked it back here when it was at 2025. This is now an ETF on gold. This is the NUGT. This is a triple leveraged ETF and there's a lot more of these out there. So this list that I was showing you that if you didn't get, you can certainly have anytime you want, just shoot me an email. But all of these ETFs in here like LABD, a lot of these are leveraged. So the easiest way to see leveraged without getting too detailed is looking at the volatility index of 11.9. That's a very very conservative. That's the SPY. That's the S&P 500 ETF up top. So if we flip that, the JNUG, the UVXY, these are all more aggressive exchange traded funds, which also offer a lot of upside. So this was a missed opportunity in 2016. So right here, you can see this very tight Bollinger Band frame. That's a squeeze happening. And then this volume, light purple color, that's called heavy upside volume. And that's quality volume because we're moving in the direction of the volume. A lot lower volume over here too. So there's a tremendous amount of capital coming into this gold miner, triple leverage bullish ETF known as the nugget or ticker symbol NUGT. So if you miss this in here, your ideal price target, if you're in at 20 or 25, the low of 17, we're not going to call that, but 25, you have resistance right around 50. So yeah, 25 to 50 is hundred percent. You make a couple hundred percent on an ETF leaps trade or something like that but I want to find the next thousand percent. I've had leaps trades that have made over 2000%. So if you can put up a five or $10,000 trade and turn it into a hundred or 200,000, those are the type of game changer trades that have happened in my career that I want to have happen for you. Cause it feels good. It's fun to see people's lives change when you can help them make money. And this example is going to show you also a different approach because a lot of my people coming into the business, they don't have a lot of capital. I understand that. And I want to give you this example, explain through technical. So first you had the breakout over here. This is February of 2016. So January was a time to get in if you're a really good stock picker, which a lot of us aren't. And that's tough to scale long term. But February, you have this at right about 55 or 60. You have a bullish signal on the Shaikin money flow, which is used a lot. And you have a bullish on DMI, heavy upside volume. Resistance, the first level is at 120 to 140. Then you have upper resistance around 200. So you have all the characteristics to put on a bullish trade. So what's the trade? That's a question that everyone asks me is what's the trade? There's so many trades. So this is an idea. We'll keep it simple. We'll keep it with what we just talked about. So if you went out to the first expiration leaps, like buying the January 2017, 329 days out, you buy the 75 call and sell the 80 as a vertical call spread, long vertical call, you're paying 60 cents as a package trade. This is taking this right out of the platform. This is on February 26, 2016, when you have all those signals. And there's more of these out happening right now. And there's gonna be more happening into 2017 and beyond that. So it's about getting prepared and knowing what to do when they happen because they happen quick. And if you're not prepared, then you're going to miss out and missing out is never fun. So this right here, this, this example, if you bought 10 of these, you buy to open, you know, BTO 10 lots plus 10 means you're buying 10. That's a $600 investment. That's it. That's you buy one for $60 or you can buy a thousand. Look at the open. There's 2000 here. There's definitely enough liquidity to buy 500. If you want to buy 500 for 30,000, it's all, it's all up to you whatever fits your portfolio. So you fast forward five months. You know, this is August 1, 2016. What happened now? The ETF, the Nuggets at 160. It made the move to what? It hit 120, our target. That's a little bit of a resistance level. It goes sideways for about a month and a half or so. It just continues trucking higher. And now is probably a smart time to take this off because we have a double top. You have a three-day evening star. And on top of that, your the spread that we just looked at is all the way down here. And it could very conceivably come down and hit this 120 support. So it would be smart to take off at least half the position and let it maybe continue on because look at this. So back testing this long vertical call spread five months later, you have this situation occur. You can sell this now for a $3.60 credit. So this is just like a package trade. You know, you're buying it for a 60 cents. You know, 10 of them is going to cost you $600. Now you would sell to close the 10 for a $3,600 credit. This is gonna equal a profit of $3,000 or return on investment of 500% with an additional 1,600 of upside potential if it stays above 80 by the expiration date. So you don't have to hold up the expiration date. You probably should take off some at this point because it's a great gain. You can reallocate that and that's just showing you what's possible.